Hi guys, I'm Annabelle Catania, the owner and founder of Auntie and Me Essential Wellness. Normally you'll find me throughout San Diego in a farmer's market, selling my natural swag. But right now, today, I'm here to share with you my story, how I got here and how I can help you from going through the same problems or someone that you love. So when I was 26 years old, I was ignoring some signs. Um, I was having some soreness in my right armpit and I just assumed it was a wrong deodorant or antiperspirant. So I kept switching from one antiperspirant to another and it would go away, get a little better, and then eventually it didn't. And I woke up and my right breast was completely swollen and red and engorged and it was bad. So I booked a, a doctor's appointment as soon as possible and I went and saw a specialist. And uh, funny thing is, the first thing he said was, when did you give birth? Which uh, I don't have children and it looked like mastitis. So if you don't know what mastitis is, it is a engorgement of the milk duct. So it usually happens to women that are nursing. Obviously I wasn't nursing and it was only my right breast. So that was kind of a, a funny little thing at first until I realized it was breast cancer inside of my milk duct. So it was totally engorged and they were worried so we decided to do a ultrasound. And when we did the ultrasound, they left me in the room and said, just lay here, I'll get you some warm blankets, which is never a good sign. Um, but I was trying to be positive. And she comes back in and she puts me in a wheelchair and she wheels me over to the Kearney Breast Center in Salmon Creek, right outside of Vancouver, Washington. And I'm sitting there alone and she um, says, I'll, you know, we'll be right with you. The nurse comes in and says, hey, the doctor has looked over your, your images and it looks like you have breast cancer. Um, what? <laughs> I'm 26. I'm healthy. I'm na I eat natural. I, you know, I, I work out. Um, what do you mean? I'm sick? Yeah, we're pretty sure, like, obviously we need to do the biopsy, but this is, like, very, ex you know, this is a severe stage at this point. And so we need to, like, get you in today for a biopsy. Okay, so they literally take me into a room. They do a needle biopsy. Obviously, at that point, we knew what it was. I had a couple days to wait and worry until I got the phone call that was like, hey, you need to come back in. Obviously, I knew what it was, so... I said, hey, I, I actually just really need to know. I'm gonna come in, but you need to tell me. They told me, uh, you have what we consider stage three breast cancer. Um, and we also biopsied your armpit when we were in there and your, there's cancer in your right lymph nodes and right side. And I was like, oh, okay. So it's in my lymphatic system. I'm not a doctor, but I've always studied my own sort of holistic medicine. I've always been very curious about how the body works. So to have someone tell me that it's in my lymphatic system, I'm thinking, that's a highway to my whole body. You're telling me that my cancers like can go anywhere? So yeah, that happened. And um, I had a couple surgeries right out of the gate just for more testing and we started chemo right away. And the chemo didn't work, the cancer continued to grow and we ended up through ICU two or three times and it just, it was, it was apparent that I wasn't getting better and we just needed to do the radical double, double mastectomy and the full hysterectomy. And that happened when I was 29. So I, I fought for nearly three years and from there I was jumped right into menopause and I still wasn't um, in remission. So I seeked out um, a holistic doctor and uh, his name is Dr. Conway in Vancouver, Washington. He's a naturopath. He does um, holistic oncology. It's amazing what they can do now with uh, natural sources for cancer treatments. And for me, we chose vitamin C infusions. We did turkey tail mushrooms, um, high, high doses. Um, I went completely vegan to starve out um, you know, any type of growth of the cancer itself. Uh, no animal proteins, no sugar, and alkaline water. Um, and I know there's a lot going back and forth with alkaline water, but you know, in the right form, it can be really great. So it couldn't hurt, right? <laughs> so we did that. We pretty much did everything. And uh, I was in remission in nine months. I started to be a real believer of holistic medicine and uh, it changed me. And from there, I literally devoted my life to learning about how natural stuff can help me and the people that I love. And that's actually how Auntie and Me Essential Wellness really came to be. And my first creation, was my deodorant. And uh, I would say it's pretty good. 
Um, I have a lot of people that love it. I think it's amazing. We have a lot of followers. And from there, we continued with our natural deodorant to our natural bug spray with over 10 essential oils in it. And it doesn't have one single drop of chemicals and it works. It's been tried and um, true over in um, Asia and in Africa. So that was enough for me to say, hey, if I can create two products that people use on a regular basis on themselves and their family, including their children, just so you guys know, we should not be using DEET. DEET is a bad product and we put that on our children. So I really, really want to get a message out there that we can do natural. So follow me, follow my journey, follow all of these cool things that I've learned and we'll see if we can come up with some cool things and I would love to help you with the things you have in your home. Not everything has to be expensive, not everything has to be from me, but I know I can teach you how to live clean and natural and still have quality of life.